Well, I think it's safe to say that Fox News host Judge Jeanine Pirro has officially reversed her stance on wearing masks because a couple of weeks ago, I actually gave her credit for posting a photo of herself wearing a mask. Now, she took a lot of heat because she wore what some of her followers said was a muzzle, right? And this is a pandemic. It's a hoax, according to some conservatives who are conspiratorial and just wrong about this, who don't follow the science. But I mean, for her to do that, to go against what she knows will get her backlash, I commended her for that, right? It's it's brave. You can't let your audience control you. There's a fine line between allowing your audience to hold you accountable when you mess up and allowing them to just drive your content. And, you know, I'm glad that she presumably at that time wasn't allowing that to happen. But she has now flipped her stance on this. She condemned Joe Biden and his wife for wearing a mask, which is the correct thing to do, namely because she doesn't like the particular message that masks sends to people. Take a look. Joe Biden is afraid of him. He'll use a pandemic. Uh, I think it's hysterical when he and his wife come out together and they're wearing their masks, you know, they're, they've been housed together since the pandemic started and they're wearing masks together when they come out. What is the point of the mask? The point of the mask is to basically kind of dehumanize. It's to, you know, frighten people. You don't know who's behind the mask. It's to give people cover. It's exactly what the, the anarchists and the protesters need. You know, it strikes fear. There's something going on. There are all kinds of subliminal messages to that mask. That is incredibly, incredibly dangerous and idiotic. She claims the uh, message that you send when you put on a mask is that uh, you're dehumanizing people and you're frightening people. And presumably it's great for anarchists who we all know just want to do crime. What is an idiotic thing to say. Now, you can try to interpret this in the best faith imaginable and say, you know, maybe she's just trying to speak from the standpoint of Joe Biden and that he didn't need to wear a mask, so why would he go out of his way to wear a mask if he's just next to his wife? Uh, first of all, that's, that's nonsensical. It doesn't matter if him and his wife live together and they're in quarantine together. If you're going out in public, you need to wear a mask. And more importantly, if you're a public official, you should be encouraging the use of masks by wearing one yourself. This is why we've been criticizing Donald Trump. It's why, presumably, you wore a mask and literally tweeted out a photograph of yourself wearing a mask. But, you know, I, I don't think that she is trying to make this a Joe Biden-only attack. What she's saying about masks is going to resonate with these anti-mask people who we are all trying to persuade to stop being stupid. The people who are more likely to not want to wear masks, according to studies, show that it's because they're either narcissistic or possibly psychopathic. So these people need everyone to reinforce that wearing a mask is a good decision. But, you know, this comes, like this fear-mongering about masks comes after two Republicans just died last week. Because last week, Herman Cain lost his life after he attended Donald Trump's rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma, not wearing a mask. He was subsequently admitted to the hospital, and he passed away last week. Now, on top of that, we had the uh, co-founder of Turning Point USA, Bill Montgomery, die due to COVID-19. This was an individual who was anti-mask. His organization tweeted out anti-mask rhetoric. They shared this meme saying, imagine if everyone wearing a mask was carrying a copy of the Constitution instead. And on top of that, they tweeted out this meme. It's a picture of Nicolas Cage, which says, me not wearing a mask while a leftist screams at me from their car across the parking lot at Whole Foods. And back in March, Charlie Kirk literally wrote an op-ed for Newsweek where he tells people not to panic over coronavirus because that's what the president's enemies want. So you'd think that after two of their own, two Republicans, people who I'm assuming Judge Jeanine Pirro respects die because of COVID-19, they would take it more seriously, but they're not. And sometimes Republicans are so fucking stupid that even if they get COVID-19, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to take it seriously or wear masks. Because Louis Gomer, who is someone who has been very uh, vocal about his opposition to wearing masks, who made fun of uh, the fact that people are going to, you know, pressure him to wear masks, he tested positive for COVID-19, and a day before he tested positive, he was seen walking with Attorney General William Barr not wearing a mask. He then stunned his own staffers by showing up to tell them in person that he tested 
positive. I repeat, he showed up in person to tell his own staffers that he tested positive for COVID-19, and this comes after he exposed dozens of people possibly to COVID-19 already. Like, how many members of Congress did you expose? How many congressional staffers did you expose? And then you expose more people by showing up to tell them in person that you have COVID-19. What a moron. To make matters worse, uh, after he tested positive, he speculated that the reason why he got COVID-19 was from wearing a mask. I, I, I can't help but wonder if by keeping a mask on and keeping it in place that if I might have uh, put uh, some germs, some, virus, some of the virus onto the mask and breathed it in. I don't know, but I got it. We'll see what happens from here. But the reports of my demise are uh, very pre- some of that last bit, the audio cut out, but what he said was uh, reports of his demise have been greatly exaggerated. Nobody is saying that you're dead, dummy. What we're saying is that everyone should take this virus seriously because it is contagious, it's deadly, and uh, we want to stop the spread of it, obviously, so things can get back to normal, so we can fully reopen the economy as Republicans want. But what does he say? The reason why he may have contracted COVID-19, according to him, is because he was wearing a mask. Like, I don't know if he's saying that wearing the mask gave him COVID-19 because it it, mater it materialized, like, within the mask, and then he, like, snorted it in. Like, I, I don't honestly know what he's trying to say. But the best way that I can interpret that is, like, he took off his mask and somebody had coughed on it with COVID-19 and then he put it on his face and, like, snorted the virus in. I don't know, but what I do know is that if Republicans don't start taking it more seriously, more Republicans will die. But not just that, like, it's not like it's contained to just them, because this is a contagious virus. So if you don't take it seriously, everyone in the country is vulnerable. It's not just something where we can allow, you know, uh, the strongest uh, survive, right? The Darwin Awards can only be awarded to the stupid people. When it comes to a contagious virus, we're vulnerable unless everyone takes it seriously. And when you have leaders like Louis Gohmert and Judge Jeanine Pirro now espousing anti-mask rhetoric, when people are dying, including their own friends, I mean, I can't just say at what point will Republicans take it seriously because by now they would have taken it seriously if they were ever going to. If someone who you respect, like Bill Montgomery or Herman Cain dies and you're still using anti-mask rhetoric, you're just not going to take it seriously. You just don't care. You put rhetoric above everything else. And, you know, when it comes to Louis Gohmert, I think that he's dumb enough to where you can argue, okay, it's not about, like, when will he do what he knows is the right thing. I genuinely believe he doesn't know how to do the right thing because he's just too fucking stupid. But with Judge Jeanine Pirro, like, I think that she's smarter. Like, she has more common sense than Louis Gomer. So, when she, you know, uses this anti-mask rhetoric, it's not necessarily because she doesn't know any better. I think she knows better. She just is choosing to be anti-mask because she's hopping on this bandwagon, right? Donald Trump finally started to do the right thing by tweeting out a picture of himself wearing a mask, saying it's patriotic, whatever's gonna work, right? And then he tweeted out this video of this lunatic doctor in front of the Supreme Court saying that you don't need to wear a mask. I mean, it's just... Other countries don't have to deal with this. Like, other countries have not politicized a pandemic to the extent that we have. Sure, Brazil has. You can argue Brazil, maybe a couple of other countries. Uh, but that's because Jair Bolsonaro is another fascistic moron who's trying to copy Donald Trump. But generally speaking, a pandemic is not a partisan issue in other countries. You can argue that different parties have different responses that vary in the degree to which they are effective. But over here in the United States, like we wear our stupidity like it's a badge of honor by not wearing a mask. We're apparently the rebels. No, you're not a rebel. It's a pandemic. Wearing a mask is not a political statement contrary to popular belief. Wearing a mask does not mean that you are allowing the government to muzzle you. Wearing a mask means that you acknowledge the reality of the situation that we're dealing with now. It's a pandemic. It's contagious. You could transmit it to other people, even if you aren't expressing any symptoms. It could transmit asymptomatically. It's contagious. It's deadly. And yet we have people like Judge Jeanine Pirro and Louis Gohmert still spreading misinformation as their own colleagues in the Republican Party literally drop dead from not taking it seriously, getting the virus. It's, uh, it's truly insane 
the Republican Party is just they're too far gone and saying that they're too far gone doesn't really like do the party justice like it doesn't necessarily speak to how far they've fallen like this party is as fringe as any mainstream political party can possibly be and the fact that they still have power should scare everyone like a party this crazy this psychopathic should never be able to win but the fact that they are able to win constantly even if they are suppressing the votes and you know winning sleazily but i mean the fact that they have any supporters it really speaks to our intelligence level collectively as a country like the fact that this represents like 50 percent of who governs our country it should embarrass every single one of us Tremendous, 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 tremendous